So this is a comment from The Sky is No Limit. I like that name. The Sky is No Limit. And, and he says, what we call time is really frequency accretion. That is what time is. When we understand that, it makes it much easier to grasp how time works in other dimensions and reality systems, because frequency accretion is also evolution. And we don't stop evolving and growing just because we ascend to another dimension that may be pure and divine. But time is no longer distorted the way it is here. The time waves, quote unquote time waves, here in our current reality system have been completely bent out of shape, inverted and abused in order to entrap consciousness, which is energy. And fallen angelic demon people and their fallen systems need that energy to survive. That is correct. Which is why they create these consciousness traps on a galactic level. Pure original divine time is omnipresent and whole. I guess you could compare it with having a com complete pinhole tunnel vision versus having 360 degrees um, full spherical vision. But that comparison only captures part of it, of course. But we do have evolution and growth, frequency accretion and time in the highest dimensions and reality fields. But in those places, we are not bound by linear time and stuck in a distorted time wave loop like we are here. So a couple of things I would say about time. Um, time is cyclical. Uh, time is based on the rate at which you move perception from one event to another, you most human brains need about four seconds to take in something, at least four seconds. It just takes that much focus on that thing. And so in the meantime, other things are happening while we're focused for those four seconds. And then we move to something else. And then something else. In the meantime, all kinds of stuff is going by. And, and in the same time frame that we're in. So depending on the frequency set you are focused on and the rate at which you move that frequency set will determine the uh, time factor of a reality system. And everybody in this one operates pretty much the same. So what happens when you move past time is that you move into multidimensional existence. You move into all points of information are available at all times. You can go to anyone, you can focus anywhere, you can get any information you need um, immediately just by going there and focusing there. In this reality system, we think that we have to do it in a linear fashion. Well, this happened, and so that made me do this, and then my, you know, I had a reaction to that, and then I thought maybe this, and da da da, and that's how we operate here. But in a multi-dimensional entity, you're aware of everything. You're aware of a lot, maybe not everything, but a lot more than what the average human is aware of a lot more. I can't even begin to convey how all-knowing you become, and that expands and becomes even more all-knowing as you move up in terms of frequency. So, um, yes, time is, is cyclical. There are, in the third dimension, we have time, but there are places in other dimensions that move beyond time. And, and that's when you become much more knowing, much more telepathic, much more able to teleport, much more able to heal yourself in a single breath. Um, lots of capacities greatly expanded. 
So nice comment, Sky. 